Lubaba TV. Welcome again, and this is Baba TV, a channel that we feature different things concerning agriculture and farming. And today is another session in which we have another topic to speak about. Most of people will be surprised because we have just used English, but we have just done this for intention because we have realized that we have a lot of fans from different areas who are living apart from Tanzania. So, in order for them to catch up with us, we decided in each week we should have one session which will be speaking English so as to enable people from different areas to catch up with us. So, our fans from Kenya, South Africa, Canada, US, and wherever. This is for you. And if you have not yet considering subscribing, do it and hit the bell so as to be updated and informed every time when we, we put new updates in your channel. How can we invest in agriculture while we are abroad? This is one question which I've been asked with different people and a lot of people who are living abroad, mostly diasporas. So I decided in order to catch up with them, in order to help them, I should say my comment on this. But this also will be useful not only to people who want to invest in Tanzania, but also for other people who are living in other areas and they want to do agriculture, mostly in East Africa and Africa. You can use just these few techniques, they might help you in one or different way. So let us go together and enjoy. First thing you need to consider is not just the matter of starting farming, but you must choose a kind of farming that you are capable of and you are interested in. What do I mean saying this? People, they are just entering to farm just because they are just told that when you do farming, you might get rich. In order to be a successful farmer, you just not, you should not just drag into farming just just way. You must have an interest and capability to start that kind of farming. That is a very important thing because success or failure starts from that point. Second thing. You which you need to consider, you must have knowledge on what you want to farm. People must start having questions or oh, doubt. Oh, I'm still, I'm far. Oh, I'm not staying where I do farming. How can I? How how is it important to have knowledge on what I want to farm? Don't worry. It's very important to know on what you are doing. For example, in order to to know every step of maize and how you will get profit you must be aware of how maize is grown and every process of growing maize it doesn't matter how far you are but you must also have a person who is capable and who is knowledgeable concerning on kind of farming that you are doing even when you are not there or you are not around he or she can stand on his duty so as to make sure everything is going as planned but it's very important for you to have not only you should go to school but you can nowadays life is very simple you can google you can go to youtube and whatever and have some basics and knowledge on what you want to farming this will help this is important in cost management hope you get what i mean right another important thing is good farm management this starts from the person or expert you're using from the equipment you're using from the inputs you're using all of this must be good and must be done correctly so make sure you invest much in good practice because when the farm practice is not good you can just end up in getting losses which are not necessary for example when the farm is not clean you can just welcome some pests and diseases for example when you don't put all requirements for example seeds when you don't plant seed on time, when you don't put fertilizers on time, when you not cultivate on time, all of this will be problems. So you must have a good farming practice starting from the good expert you are using so as to take care of your farm. Last but not least, you must plan your market. You must know how you deliver your products to the customer. You must know who you are, your target customers. You must know how you will do your business, how you will sell your products. 
and much more because when you're not planning of you you might just you obtain a lot of yield but you don't know where to sell them so you just end in selling them by losses or by cheap prices or many of the products might be rotten so in order to be a successful farmer you must do all of this but also be good in planning your market be good to know where you'll sell your products and whatever for today let's just end up hope you have just obtained something or just got something might, which might help you and till next time this is baba tv and this is baba iman considering subscribing and hit the bell so as to be the member of this family till next time and have a nice day